When an outage occurs, you can be sure there's one thing on everyone's mind. When will the power come back? It's not always an easy question to answer because outages happen for many different reasons. Outages that last a day or more are often large scale, affecting widespread areas. Severe weather is usually the cause, with damage from snow, ice, rain, and high winds. Shorter outages tend to be localized and might be caused by anything from lightning to a downed tree. While we can't always predict when and where an outage will happen, we work hard to prevent them whenever possible and are always ready with emergency plans for when the unexpected occurs. Outage prevention is an ongoing process that includes proactively cutting back trees and vegetation, reviewing system performance, and upgrading equipment. Mobilizing for potential weather-related outages begins the moment we know severe weather is on the way. This includes communicating with public safety officials plus state and local governments. Materials and equipment are prepped and staged. National grid personnel are alerted and put on standby, ready to perform their pre-assigned storm duties. And if needed, we call in support from other utilities from across North America. This preparation involves careful coordination among thousands of National Grid employees and support crews. It also means communicating with you, our customers, providing the information you need to prepare. We encourage you, and anyone with questions, to call National Grid. You'll find the number for your service area on your bill or our website. You can also sign up to receive text message updates and get real-time local outage information on National Grid's Facebook and Twitter pages. If your power goes out, the most important thing is to stay safe. Consider any downed lines energized and dangerous. Never go near these or other hazards. Report your outage to National Grid immediately, either by phone or our website if possible. Every report we receive helps us better understand the extent of the outage, so we need to hear from you. As the restoration process begins, all reports must be checked out. While it's always our goal to give accurate estimates for when the power will return, every outage is unique and demands total attention each step of the way. Here's how you can expect us to prioritize repairs. Once conditions are safe for our workers, we start with those circuits that serve the most customers, while also restoring power to critical care facilities and essential services like police, fire, hospitals, and 911 call centers. This means first making any needed repairs to damaged transmission lines. These are high voltage lines that carry electricity from the power generation plant over long distances to thousands of customers. Also a top priority is repairing damage to our substations where electricity is converted to lower voltages and distributed to the community. We then work to repair distribution lines, transformers, and the wires that power individual homes and businesses. Where tree damage has occurred, we dispatch tree crews to clear the debris. We may also send out workers to guard downed lines. Their sole job is often to ensure safety around these hazards. In some cases, the source of the outage may be miles away, so even if you don't see our crews in your neighborhood, they're out there working for you. Sometimes you might see the lights back on at your neighbor's house while you're still in the dark, this occurs when neighborhoods are served by more than one distribution line, so your neighbor may get power from a different line than you. There could also be isolated damage to your home's individual service line. In either case, call us. No matter why the power goes out, we understand how disruptive it can be. And while we can't always prevent outages, it's our job to do everything possible to plan and prepare for them and to restore power as quickly and safely as possible. To learn more, visit www.nationalgrid.com.